Here's the story of a person living beside the Myra Quarry, located just outside of Fredericton, on the railroad. In 2014, the quarry was given speedy approval to do business in a protected area for environment over the third largest aquifer in Canada and to disturb the quality of life for many people living along the railroad. The whole process violated all kinds of rules and there's been no transparency and no accountability as to how that happened in the first place. Over the past six years, that quarry has been protected and no one can figure out why. But the people who live there have not been protected by the Department of Health, Department of Environment, Department of Natural Resources, or any other political means to try to get some sense of justice, some sense of accountability, some change. So here's their story, first person, like a victim impact statement. It would be really nice if you could feel what they feel and imagine what it's like to live there and to know that this could happen in your backyard just as easily. Remember when we drive up here? Mm -hmm. The elms going this way. Just like a tunnel coming just through like here. An arch. Elm trees, yeah. that big around, and they were on both sides of the road in yeah. a ditch. Yeah. And it was a complete tunnel when you dropped down off this hill and went through. How, long, the, how long ago was that? Uh, 63. Okay. It was amazing. We said, look, wouldn't this be great to build on the other side and see this farmhouse for the rest of our life? Mm. Mm. All the animals. He had cattle at the time. and He had oh, everything. Well, he had everything. Pigs. It, I still look out that kitchen window and I, I see <laughs> over there, it's all stripped now. There was pear trees. There was apple trees. There was deer going all the time. Yeah. There was raspberry bushes. He had a strawberry field. We used to go over there. Flowers. You know, and flowers all over the place. I stole some of his flowers after he passed away. Don't put that on camera. Stole them. <laughs> Before they got it. <laughs> but we're a quarter of a mile from the city line. The city line's right up the hill here. Yeah, it's just up the hill. Yeah, and uh, it was perfect for us because it was just outside it. Taxes were good. Yeah. The scenery was excellent. Yeah. No noise. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. Animal. Wildlife. Yeah. And we thought it was a great spot to bring our kids up. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to leave it to our kids now and grandkids. We don't want them living in this dust and dirt. <laughs> Absolutely kids not. Want to. The, the kids, kids don't, don't want, want it. To. No. They, they, they see what they see, they see what's going on, and they just don't want us. And the noise, not only the dust and the dirt, the noise. And I, I'm sure everybody heard the noise that's going on here, and yeah. it's all been checked and going to be checked again. I think, hopefully. Yeah. She's no, here. Nobody wants to hear my, what I have to say. <laughs> Which is exactly I, I, what we're I, doing. I, I'm, I'm away every day. I leave the house at anywhere from 8 to 9.30 every day, yeah. all my life. I work away. Yeah. I have another, we have another property which I maintain and look after. Yeah. And uh, she is here every day, 24 hours a day, and it's driving her crazy. We should tell them about what happened last night. What happened that last night? That Myra truck that almost ran over me. Oh my God. And it could have. But, that, but that, that's another <laughs> that's story. A, that's another story, yeah. But, but it was close. A... But it was on the Clarny Road. Yeah. Really bad. In my living room, I sit in the living room in the morning. I usually get up anywhere from 5.30 to 6 o'clock. I watch Terry Sege from 7 till 8. And right under my television in the living room, I got a little television. He's got two big ones. One on each floor. <laughs> I'm in the <laughs> Don't center. Don't tell people. <laughs> And uh, un under it is that whatever that box is, I don't know, and, and, and a clock on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can sit there and watch them start up traveling up this road yep. at, well, anywhere from a quarter to six on the trucks will start coming up. Lately, I think because we've been yanging at them, hmm. uh, they're, they're getting later coming up. They, they come up still before 7. I mean, somewhere between 6.30 and 7. But it used to be almost between 5.30 and 6 when they start traveling up that road. Because I'm up early and, uh, and watching the news or just reading that early in the morning. I just read, you know, and get caught up in some reading and stuff like that. But the... the, the clock is right there. I hear a truck. I look mm -hmm. at the clock. Mm -hmm. And I used to make all kinds of notes. 
I'd, I'd make the time, I'd, I'd, the, the type of truck it was, and the whole yeah. bit. But then I just gave up on that because yeah, well, you keep a log and nobody's listening. No, so nobody's like, listening, so I quit. Give up. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, I can sit there, and the trucks I got one's going this way and one's going this way, and they're passing, crossing each other right in front of our living room window, hmm. and the rattling and the dust and the rocks. Dust. Yeah. The, but any truck, any vehicle that comes down, especially the cowboys that drive along here, they just zoom it and it. The dust is flying. The dust is flying dust from every, every every vehicle, vehicle that goes by, like you know, because it's it's because there. The it's, on, it's, the on, it's on the it's on the road. And then the other cars hit it, and psh, so it's steady. Oh yeah, it's, a day or two ago, I was coming home and I was coming down Bluff Hill, and I looked over, or just before I got got to the turn itself up there, and that whole ridge just. from up there, you could see it, you know, coming home. The whole ridge was just, and I thought, oh, if I only had a movie camera right now, Probably. you know, because it was just, yeah. it was just, yeah. it, almost like a little forest fire. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference no. which way the wind blows. No. When the it trucks really go through, they pick up speed, they're going about 20 or 30 miles an hour when they hit our driveway. And at that point, when they get that speed, all the dust that's on that truck blows off it from that from whatever they picked up in that quarry and, and down through mm -hmm. and right at that point that's when the dust comes off starts to come off mm -hmm. and it's our house judas's house and everybody else's house yeah. one morning i followed one of the trucks down it wasn't a one of the, the long the long trucks it was one of the yeah. smaller trucks yeah. it was eight o'clock in the morning and the sun was coming right level Cross. The rays are coming right, there, right through. Right yep. there on the top of the hill. I followed that truck from from my driveway to up the top of Ring Road, and the dust was still coming off. Mm. That's what the three mile. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And it was still coming. Well, I swung left the two nations crossing. He went straight through. So that's how long the dust lasts on that truck. Every truck. Has there been anybody from the health department talk to you about? The silica dust, because it's not no, just nobody's dust. Talk, no, no. Uh, well, Jerry has done most of the talking to them. Yeah. yeah. Nobody, nobody's, nobody's ever, ever visited ever us visited and us. said, "Look, dude, you got any problems here?" Never. Nobody, none. Are you worried about your health? Hmm. She Sorry. wants to move out. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm away all day, so it's yeah. it kind of tapers off by I've six o'clock. I've been looking at apartments. Yeah. She's been looking for apartments. <laughs> That's the God. Yeah. And I don't know where I'm going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> With your two TVs. <laughs> <The big ones. laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, so there's no end to the dust, even though when it leaves this hill up here, yeah. there's still dust flying. You only see it if you're directly behind it when the rays or the sun rays are coming straight through yeah. in early morning. And I mean, they tear by either one way or the other. When they're coming down the road, yeah. they're pick, trying to pick up speed to get up that hill. Yeah. Oh, do yep. they ever? And you can't blame the truckers. Not it, really. I mean, it's like you if, can, we want, if we want to eat, if can. we want to go out to eat, we go to a restaurant. We don't go to a barn, right? Yep. They, 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 they're going to haul rock and gravel, and that's where it is. Yep. So you can't blame the trucker. Mm. Most, in my opinion, yeah. most of the truckers no, are decent, that. except if I'm a truck driver. And I got a hill, a bluff hill that I have to get up over. Yep. I'm going to go try to hit there as fast as that mm. on the bottom of that hill as I can, so I don't have to gear down. Yep. Yep. And and it works both ways. It's good for them. It's bad for somebody else, especially if someone swings out where they have this dog thing. Yeah. Where, what is it? The dog park. Doggy. Doggy. Yeah. Yeah. Daycare. yeah. Yeah. It's right on the oh, hill. Oh yeah. Like something's gonna happen it's, there. Oh, someone's gonna get killed for sure. Yeah. Sure. There's no doubt in my mind. And especially the truckers That's coming such this a way. Place. They well, can't. They don't have no sight. Yeah. So they come around the turn. Someone's coming to the dog kennel. Yeah. And they or they're, or they're stopped come and wanting to swing into the dog the, kennel. The dog. The dog. That's the worst. Place had the, the mirror on it now mm -hmm. to, to help try people out. to try to yeah. help people out. You know. But uh, it's still like I. You see the black marks are all the time. Yeah. Well, mm. it's a, it's the lack of enjoyment too because I'm it. a farmer. Mm. You know, yeah. 
And I've got two little gardens getting started there now. One, one behind the house and one behind that stream that the government doesn't look after. A ditch. It's yeah. not a stream, it's a ditch. Yeah. Anyway, and on the other side of that is another little garden. And I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried. I don't know how that dust can travel like it does. Yeah. Because it comes right over, and every leaf is just gray. Yeah, I, I would say, and I'd say 80% of the dust comes off the trucks. Because we can't enjoy our, we can't. We can't enjoy we the can't, backyard we, or the front. Yeah, like neither one. Because like the, we the can't hill, sit out front, every, and we can't sit out back. back. We can't barbecue. We, we change their lifestyle as far as eating goes. We eat after six, seven o'clock after they leave. Mm -hmm. In most cases, we can't mm -hmm. barbecue out back because the ricochets, the noise ricochets off that hill. Come, comes like out of there. Like valley, and, 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 and everything is completely, it's completely strange. beat. As far as living a, a lifestyle that you like to live. And then you got the noise. Well, there's what we're going to have to give up. What's that? That's a good picture. Yeah. Is that what it used that's to look it. like? That's our house right now. Yeah. With is the flowers on there? Yep. Yeah. With the a, we don't have the flowers now. I'll do this just for fun. I'll that's what we're going to give to our kids or grandkids, whichever. Oh, here's some. Deserved with, it. Here's some with the flowers. They used they used to be flowers. In the in, <laughs> in the photos, 2015. Yep. So yeah. It's five years ago. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same except we don't have the flowers. We didn't know what was going on until they built, built the, the friggin' bridge, bridge over bridge. there. And we wondered what that bridge was for. <laughs> yeah. True enough. That's when we thought something's happening. Yeah. So you, That's how quiet it was. So you feel mm. sideswiped from the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, completely. Yeah, I wish I had more money than they had and I would have stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's about the size That's of it. That's about the only way it could have been done. Really? Instead of just doing the right thing? Yeah, for sure. I don't know how they got away with it. I, I, oh, government. Yeah. Well, the government wanted it. Well, they yeah. wanted that rock handy, and I think it's for not for today, but for the, when they redo the Macintyre Dam. Yeah. That's what I think. All kinds of rock. They're going to get cheap rock and build a new redo the dam in fifteen or twenty years' time. And we have no way of proving that, do we? No, but I'm, I'm, pretty, good, so. I'm pretty good at guessing. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I could just sit and cry. Yeah. That's my final thought. Yeah. I could just sit yeah. and cry. No, we're, we're going we're gonna to have to move out. Yeah, we probably will. Within two years, we won't be here. Are you coming with us? <laughs>